Oh, you guys see this? This is the world's smallest pocket cinema projector. Today's video is going to be like super awesome, guys, because I have something very interesting to show you all. So this is called as a Nebra Any Beam. And let me tell you, this is like the next level in projectors. This is not your regular LCD or DLP projector. It's a laser projector. And laser projectors now, they usually don't have that traditional bulb on board. They don't require like chunky blocks of heat sinks. And there is no fan also. Hence the reason it is so small and compact. Look at this. It's just the size of a small power bank, right? Yet can produce a picture size of almost up to like 120, 130 inches, guys, at 720p resolution. You can simply carry this in your pocket and have like cinema anywhere, guys. So this is what we'll be checking out in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So guys, here's our pocket cinema projector from Nebra comes in this sort of box packaging. These guys actually make a lot of projector devices, guys. And this particular model is called as the Nebra Any Beam. And as I've told you, this is the world's smallest pocket Pico cinema projector, guys. I am like super excited to talk about this in this video. First of all, this is not your regular conventional traditional type LCD or DLP projector. It works on MEMS laser scanning technology. Actually has like a class one laser on board and that is how the projection thing happens. So at the back side, you've got some of its main highlights mentioned. So as I've told you guys, laser projectors consume very less power and are like super efficient. There is no bulb involved. There is no fan also because it's very efficient, right? Hence, it's very compact in size and also lightweight. It weighs only around 140 grams as mentioned by the brand and has a couple of interesting features, which I'll tell you as and how we unbox and proceed in the video. So as soon as you unbox, we've got some paperwork at the top. Looks like a thank you note for buying it and also some stickers and there you go guys as soon as you open it here's our product we've been waiting for nebra any beam world's smallest pocket cinema projector i mean just look at this thing it's so small initial impressions it kind of looks like a power bank guys Oh wow, we'll just come back to this in a moment. Let me see what else we get in the package. So underneath this looks like you have some more paperwork, user manual and stuff. Just make sure to read this for all the details. And that is it. These are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let me give you a closer look and talk about the design and build quality. So first of all, I have to say, this is like super small and compact guys looks just like a power bank nobody would ever believe this is actually a projector you've got the nebra any beam logo at the top side some status led indicators and going to the left side you've got some buttons and port looks like this is the speaker it actually has like a one watt built-in speaker and a navigational joystick just beside that and this is your main projecting element guys the laser source from here the projection thing happens and it's completely different to your dlp or even lc CD projectors. It's actually a class one laser guys and they're saying not to look into the source directly. It is not at all recommended. So keep that in mind. And on the bottom, you also have like a quarter inch thread. So you can easily fix it on a tripod, monopod, any sort of stand. And going to the back side here, you've got some connectivity ports. There's a 3.5 mm audio jack available. HDMI input is there and a micro USB port for the power. So basically you need to connect this either to a power bank or simply to any 5 volt USB source and the projector will power on. That is it guys. There is no built-in battery on this thing. So what I'll do is I'll quickly set it up and then we'll check out the menu and basically how this thing works. All right, I'm back to continue the video. I've been using this projector for the last couple of days and I'll be sharing like my complete experience and feedback on this product. There are a lot of pros and cons I'll be talking about guys. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And first, let me tell you about the setup part. Setting up this projector is like very simple. You basically have like a micro USB port at the backside and it works on any DC 5 volt source. For example, you can simply connect like a power bank or use a USB cable from your laptop or PC. Just plug it into this projector and bam, that's it. This this thing powers on. I really wish it had like a built-in battery that would have made it like portable on its own without an external power supply but this is the only way to power it on. And talking about compatibility, as I've shown you during the unboxing time guys, it has like a, a one HDMI input port and basically it's compatible with all the devices available. You can connect your smartphone to it, laptop, PC, gaming console, TV stick, anything guys and this projector will project it on the screen. My suggestion would be see, simply connect like a TV 
TV stick to this tiny projector and that's it guys it will become complete android you'll get wifi bluetooth all of these functions will get available right and it will it will become like an all in one entertainment package in your pocket guys that is the best suggestion i can give you so what i'll do is i'll quickly power it on and show you the menu and built in features and after that i'll show you some you know i'll play some video clips youtube videos and i'll show you how the picture quality of this laser projector is so let's get started all right boys this is how the home screen on the projector looks like uh, first of all let me tell you there is no operating system on it it is not android nothing not smart projector so basically unless you connect like an external uh, source to it it can't project anything and talking about the menu you can easily access that using this navigational joystick you need to press it for like 2 to 3 seconds and there you go the menu pops up and these are all the available menu features you've got keystone correction available you can flip it upside down as well you can adjust the brightness sharpness set the green and blue alignment and you got a couple of audio settings as well and lastly factory reset that's it there is nothing else available on this projector so what i'll do is i'll quickly connect my laptop to this projector and show you how the projection quality is on this thing and wait a second, I haven't told you the specs of this projector, right? It can produce a max output of around 720p resolution at 60 frames per second. And input is also the same. Contrast ratio is around like 80,000 is to 1. And this projector can produce a brightness of around 30 ANSI lumens. But again, this ANSI lumens is different compared to your DLP because this is a laser projector, right? And laser projectors are like quite powerful than your conventional projectors, guys. So 30 ANSI lumens over here is equivalent to almost like 150 ANSI see lumens on a DLP projector. So this is something you'll have to keep in mind. And if you talk about the technology, as I've told you guys, it works on a different MEMS laser scanning technology and has like no bulb, no fan, no heat sinks as well. That is the reason for its compact size. And best part is laser projectors are like very efficient. Hence, they do not produce heat or any sort of noise also. So it will be like super silent whenever you're watching movies or any sort of stuff on this projector. And there you go, this is how the projection looks like after connecting an external source. Right now, I connected my laptop to it. And talking about the projection size, the brand says that you can throw the projection from almost 5 inches to all the way up to 150 inches, guys. So this tiny little thing can produce like cinema anywhere you go. Awesome, right? Uh, just watch this video, guys. Watch these couple of videos. And then we'll talk about the projection quality and also about the speaker quality on board. Okay, you guys saw the projection quality, right? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now, before I tell anything about the product, first of all, keep in mind that it's a very tiny and compact portable projector, guys. You can't compare it to like professional level. So keep that in mind. Now, considering the size of this thing, it was giving like decent quality results. Now, initially looking at the specs and basically that laser technology thing, I was actually having like high hopes. But after using this projector for quite some time and looking at the results, it was not up to my mark. So thing is the brand says that projector can throw up to like 5 inches to all the way up to 150 inches in size. But based on my experience now this projector was decent up to like 40 inches guys. If you go above like 60 inches or if you go up to like 100 inches the picture was getting very soft. It was losing all the sharpness and detail and basically text on it was not readable. You might have already seen in the video demo right. Text was not that sharp and basically not readable at large size. Sizes. So my advice would be is to best use it at small sizes guys up to 35 40 inches that was giving like best results now quality was fine pictures looking good colors were also nice that I have to give it to it color quality color accuracy these were very good white balance was also nice but my only complaint is there was not much of detail over here it's got a native resolution of 720p but still it doesn't look like 720p for some reason. 
And one more thing I do have to point out is Brand said that it's a focus free projector. So you don't need to adjust with the focus picture is always in focus no matter how you use it. But that was not quite the case with me during my usage. See if you use the projector up to 4 or 5 feet and throw it up to like 50 60 inches then it was fine. TK. Most of the stuff was like readable. But if you go beyond that size and go up to 100 inches the image was not in focus guys and there was no option to adjust the focus as well. I really felt Brand should have given like a manual focus ring on this thing that would have given like much better results. One more thing I can talk about is the brightness. So initially when I saw the specs, brightness was specified as 30 ANSI lumens and then I was like, are it only 30 ANSI lumens? But no, laser technology is completely different to DLP, right? So 30 ANSI lumens over here is actually equivalent to 150 ANSI lumens on a DLP projector. So this thing is actually like quite bright guys, I didn't expect that. In case if you're viewing this projector from a very short distance, now, image looks like super bright. Unless you go almost up to like five, six feet, then the brightness will decrease and that time now you'll need to be in a complete dark room to actually enjoy the experience at big screen. Otherwise if you're using it like a short throw projection distance right you can even view the uh, image or picture even during midday not an issue at all. Coming to the sound, this thing also has like a tiny speaker on board that can produce around like one watt of output and I'm being honest, speaker quality on this thing is not good guys. Thing is, speaker is like very weak, you'll barely hear anything. So I'd advise you to use this 3.5mm audio jack and connect some external Bluetooth speaker or something like that to get like a better audio experience. I felt this is more like a fun sort of device guys, that is what I felt after using it for quite some time. So that's it, my video on this laser projector Nebra NE Beam and this thing costs around somewhere around like 18 to 20 thousand rupees guys. I actually got this from a Kickstarter project. I'll try to leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to check out something new and different today. Make sure to smash that like button on this video and I'll see you all in my next one.